Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another video. If you are new to my channel, I appreciate you being here. I'm gonna be doing a Dutch pour with a white base on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. So I'm gonna go ahead and flood my canvas with the white and then add these beautiful, I've got some pinks, purples, yellow and gold. I've never used purple in a Dutch pour. I don't know why. So I'm gonna use purple today. It's very odd, I love purple. I've just never used it before in a Dutch pour. Not that I can recall. I'm just gonna blow it out. You can use your hand or your glove, I guess. Blow it out. You can tilt it, use a scraper, use the blow dryer like I'm doing. There's a bunch of different ways you can spread the face coat on your canvas. So I'll have to tell y'all a story in just a minute after the hair dryer gets done. I had a very interesting weekend. It was fun, but um, Saturday we had a little bit of a challenge. It was quite the ordeal. Alright, just a tiny bit more. I'm always a little heavy handed, so I'm probably gonna have a lot of paint on my canvas, but I mean on my plastic down there, but I always scrape it and use it as a table color. Don't need a lot. Alright, I think that got me covered there. I'm make sure that my sides have a little bit of a coat on them. Can't see that side. That way, if anything does drip over, it has something to help it flow along. Okay. Wipe my hand off there. Now that I've got my base coat on, pop the air bubbles. Not too many. Oops, there we go. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the yellow. Like I said, we were at the lake this weekend, had a very interesting situation come up. There we go. Purple, like I said, I've never used purple in a Dutch pour that I can recall. Maybe I have, I, I just do not remember um, me ever using purple, which I love purple. So, <laughs> we're gonna use it today. So when we were at the lake this weekend, um, I was looking down from the lake house and kind of noticed that something didn't look right about the boat dock. So the boat dock is flush with the shore. So here's the shore and the boat docks against it. It had broken from the cable tie and was loose. So that obviously was very bad. I was like, oh my word, it took five of us a couple of hours to get that corrected. Oh yeah, it was quite the ordeal. But we did it. Obviously didn't want to lose the dock or the boat. So it was interesting. <laughs> but we did have a good time. Other, th other than that part, we had a really good time. All right, here we go. All right. And I am gonna put the pouring medium that I used along with the paint colors um, in the description below. But pop the air bubbles in those colors. Oops, shouldn't be a problem right there, but we're gonna get that out just in case. Okay, I'm gonna use my small blow dryer. I'm gonna start here. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of beautiful reaction. Wow, at the colors, holy moly. I'm talking about color explosion. I love this color palette. Wow, can't wait to bring you down and show you all the cells that have come up. It is amazing. 
Bright, bright, bright. I love it. Maybe blow out a few areas. Turn this. Wow, the colors are so, so rich. I think I'm gonna blow it out just a hair over here. Sometimes you don't know if you should leave it alone because it's so vibrant. Make sure I don't get my apron in my paint here. Okay. I'll turn it back around. I'm gonna do a little tweaking, I think, here and there, and then I'm gonna bring you down for some details. See you in a minute. Okay, here's the overall painting. Let me take you down for some details. I didn't blow a lot of pieces out because there were such vivid, vibrant colors. I was afraid I would mess that part up, and I didn't want to risk it, so I left them. Just so pretty. All of the colors and all the cells that came up very interesting. I blew a little bit over here. Let me take you a look at this down here. I didn't want to blow any of this out. I just think that that is super vibrant and super bold. I love it. And then over here, I did blow this area out a little bit. I think the piece really turned out pretty. So bright, so bold. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And as always, you have a great day. Bye.